roughly four months after its last test flight, SpaceX says it's ready to send its Starship rocket soaring once again. In a post to social media, SpaceX says its third test flight is targeting March 14th, pending regulatory approval. The announcement came less than a week after completing a full wet dress rehearsal tanking test on the fully stacked rocket, one of the final steps before they're ready to launch. The company director of launch site mission operations says the mission would, quote, significantly break our record for the gap between second and third flights of a new launch vehicle. For the Falcon 1 rocket, it was more than a year and four months between the second and third flights, and it was more than a year and five months between the second and third flights of the Falcon 9. Let's go! Flight 2 of Starship saw a number of successes compared to its first endeavor. The water-cooled flame deflector and other pad upgrades proved effective, and they were able to get to stage separation without losing any of the 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster. SpaceX says that the reason for the explosion of the booster was likely, quote, determined to be filter blockage, where liquid oxygen is supplied to the engines. That caused an engine failure and the subsequent so-called rapid unscheduled disassembly. During a SpaceX company talk, founder Elon Musk described what they say went wrong with the Starship upper stage. So Flight, flight 2 actually almost made it to orbit. Um, so, uh, in fact, ironically, if, um, if it had had a payload, it would have made it to orbit. Uh, because the reason that it actually didn't quite make it to orbit was we vented the liquid oxygen, and the liquid oxygen uh, ultimately led to fire and an, ex and an explosion. Because we, we wanted to vent the liquid oxygen, because we normally wouldn't have that liquid oxygen if we had a payload. <laughs> so, ironically, if it had a payload, it would have reached orbit. Um, and so I think we've got a really good shot of reaching orbit with Flight 3. Flight 3 won't have a payload on board, but SpaceX did confirm that it will open its payload door about 12 minutes into the mission during the coast phase. Our partners at Lab Padre captured video back in December of that door being tested. Another test will be a precursor to the ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer needed to support missions to the moon and beyond. Jessica Jensen, SpaceX's Vice President of Customer Operations and Integration, said during an Artemis teleconference in January that this demo would fulfill another NASA milestone. We are working towards a tipping point demonstration, so that might be what you're talking about, where um, the goal is to transfer um, propellant from the header tank into the main tank, so it's sort of a smaller subset of learning about cryogenic propellant transfer in orbit. SpaceX also plans to perform an in-space reflight of one of the Raptor engines. They conducted an on-Earth demo in late December. In addition to that engine test, SpaceX also used time in December to perform static fire tests of the Starship upper stage and the Super Heavy booster that will support this third flight test. The question that remains outstanding, though, is when a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration may arrive. The FAA closed its mishap investigation into Flight 2 back on February 26th. However, it's unclear how many of the 17 action items outlined in the SpaceX-led investigation are still outstanding. The timing of the license will be a big driver in determining if a Pi Day launch is actually possible or just a pie-in-the-sky date. Reporting for Space Flight Now, I'm O. Robinson-Smith.